So today what we are going to do, yesterday we had done section three to section six and today the prime focus is section seven to section 10, that is number one. And if time permits, we will do also section 11. That's all. Cannot do, cannot go beyond that. Section 7 to section 10. And in that also, section 9 does not exist. In this section 9, has already been omitted. Under section 7, there is appointment of various places. Appointment of various places. Under section 8, we have customs area. <coughs> Section 9 is not there. Section 10 these are places for embarkation and disembarkation from a vessel. And do you remember the title of section 11? Prohibited goods. Power to prohibit importation or exportation. Section 11 relates to, yeah, relates to prohibited goods. Okay. So this is we are going to discuss today. Right? Now in this, write down one thing. This is CBIC. This is PCCCC. Here also PCCCC. What is the meaning of this? This we are going to discuss later. But right now, only by looking at this, you, you will have an idea what we are talking about. So this is for, for, for the purpose of revision. OK? Noted? So first of all, I'm going to take up section seven, appointment of various places. So what is the meaning of the word appointment here? Appointment means what? The selecting places. Not selection. It is not. Either you can fixing. Notified, uh, notified area. Not if no. I did no, no, no. Fixing of certain places. Or you can say this is a declaration about certain places. And who makes the declaration? Fixing or declaration of places, this is by board. Yeah. CBIC. So, Central Board is authorized to exercise the powers under Section 7. Sometimes, this itself becomes a question, who is authorized or entitled to exercise the power under a specific section? Right? Like yesterday, under section four, who is entitled to make appointment of the customs officers? 
पावर्स बाय सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट टू रीजन Okay, so under Section Seven, who is authorized to exercise the powers? It is the central board. Right now, which places are appointed? So Section Seven is in front of you. This says the board may, by notification, the official gazette appoint. Why it is not an order? Why it is a notification? It is only a logical question. Notification by all publics. Notification published in the official gazette. It is deemed to be known to all. For general purpose, it is open to all. It is for public, general public, right? So this notification is bound to be for public. So that's why this is notification the official gazette. This is not a circular. This is not an order. This is by way of notification. Right. This is another question. How the power is exercised? Then the places are number one, the ports and airports, which alone shall be customs port or customs airport for unloading of imported goods and loading of export goods or any class any class of such goods. So this is talking about the custom ports and custom airports. Right. And why these are appointed? Why these are appointed? For loading and unloading of. For loading and unloading of the export goods. Answer is here. For clearance of imported exported goods. Clearance comes public. later on. First of all, loading and loading. For loading of imported goods and unloading unloading of imported loading right. of exported goods. Now this these two words are very important in this. Which allow. Means the loading and unloading cannot be at a port which is not a customs port in relation to import export. Similarly, airport. If it is not a custom. To watch full video, join online batch weekdays 8:30 p.m. to 9:30 p.m. Call Tail Institute.